So you brought up a lot of good things there, and I can kind of just throw my questions out because I think we can talk off the top of the top of the chart here. I didn't fully explain. You're also a relationship expert, uh, yeah. and you have a book out called Love and Relationship Secrets. Um, have you found yet that you're having more people call you because they're now together more, honestly? Yeah. Well, that's what's happening, Ryan. Yeah, I mean, they're contacting me because they're all over each other's throats, right? And the reason is, is that they're not used to seeing each other this much. So, yeah, and, and, and it, that's just logical. Like, uh, first of all, I want to go back and say something I said about anxiety. Anxiety is just a normal part of the human experience. There's things we can do to minimize it, so let's minimize it. When you get a couple that haven't been together for, you know, 10, 12, 24 hours a day, for God's sake now, they haven't been together 24 hours a day in 10 or 15 or 20 years. It's a shock. It's a shock to everyone, you know? And so that's where we say having patience, asking yourself the question. You know, I went through this the other day with a couple on Skype and, you know, the guy was going, well, she's making these st statements about the virus that aren't true. And I said, listen, if she's making statements about the virus, that's not true. As long as it's not some kind of statement like, oh, it's not even here, it's all been made up, why don't you let her be wrong? What's the big deal? So she says the CDC said that 10,000 people have died in China and it's really 12,000. Who cares? That's the type of approach we start to use with our, our, our relationship clients, Ryan, where that we say to people, is it that important for you to be right? You know, do you really have to be right again? And when we start evaluating it from that point of view, imagine this. Imagine a couple that's arguing, they're all over each other, and then one starts to disengage, which is the technique I just talked about, pulling back, there's no need to correct you. I, I'm, you know, we're thinking this in our head, I could correct her or him, but there's no real need. When you start pulling back on your criticism, on your judgment, on your control, watch how your partner positively changes. So that's something I'd like everyone to start to consider. Allow people to be wrong. Allow people to be a little anxious. Like, you know, when we say to someone, oh, don't be anxious. It's not even here yet. Do you think that really helps anyone? Mm. You know, it doesn't help anyone. Say, telling someone not to be anxious doesn't help. But this does help. Tell me about your anxiety a little bit more. Share with me when you're anxious. I'm just going to sit and listen, honey. I'm not going to give you any advice. I just want you to know that you have an outlet in me. I want you to know that when you feel stressed, share it with me, please. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I do want you to be able to come to me. Ryan, that would be one of the most beautiful things that we could do in around the world if you're in a relationship is to allow people to be anxious, nervous, and not correct them.